For decades, Mars has been known as a barren, red, and dry planet. But hold on to your space helmets, because NASA's Perseverance rover just delivered some breaking news. This planet used to be a happening spot, with oceans, lakes, rivers, and yes, maybe even life. The rover has been exploring Mars and has unearthed some out-of-this-world discoveries that are guaranteed to leave you starry-eyed. So buckle up, we're about to take a ride through the galaxy to see what Perseverance has found on the Red Planet. If you are new to this channel, if this video gives you any value at all, please click the like and subscribe buttons because that would really help us out to go ahead and pump out new videos for you guys. Ever since we wondered if we could be an interplanetary species, there has been one planet that we have set our sights on. No, not Venus, of course. The temperature there is like two times hotter than an oven. Certainly not in Mercury either, unless you want to be burned to a crisp. Jupiter? Not an option. That planet doesn't even have a surface. The obvious candidate? Planet Mars. Sure, the air on Mars is thinner, with little oxygen in the air, but we can always put a suit on, right? Well, the atmosphere is a little thin, too. But can we create a habitable bubble for us to live inside Mars with today's technology? Anything's possible. Technology has been developing exponentially. Almost six decades ago in 1964, Mariner 4, the very first spacecraft to finally reach Mars, sent 21 photos to our astronomers. Black and white, low definitions. I don't know about you, but all I see are the obvious craters on Mars' surface. But back then, these pictures were the holy grail. The very first close-up pictures of the red planet. And it just opened a new door. A door full of what-ifs concerning Mars. What if we humans can live there? Or, more terrifyingly, is it already occupied? In the next decades, astronomers made significant revelations about the red planet. In 1976, however, history was made. We took yet another massive leap from capturing low-quality photos to landing our very first spacecraft on the surface of Mars. The Viking 1 mission did not just land on Mars, but also captured phenomenal photos on its surface. An up-close photo of Mars which made the world feel that Mars was at arm's length. Detailed images of Martian soil and rocks were sent back to Earth. But no, our astronomers were not content with what we had achieved on Mars. They wanted to put the latest state-of-the-art robot on Mars to launch an expedition, a machine that can really explore, a rover. And since 1996, NASA has launched a total of five rovers to Mars. Spoiler, one of them has found evidence that water existed on the planet. Back in the 80s, the thought of having a rover on Mars was game-changing. In 1997, NASA did the impossible with the Sojourner, the first rover to touch and explore Martian soil. At first glance, you would think that the Sojourner rover is like a Lego set put together by a kid, just almost 24 inches, 61 centimeters long. That is like the size of two sub sandwiches. But don't underestimate this rover. It was the pioneer and building block for the greatness that came afterwards. The Sojourner rover explored a rocky area of Mars near its landing site called Ares Vallis. Here, the Sojourner embarked on a 95-day mission where it sent 550 pictures of the red planet. What was the biggest takeaway on this mission? This was the first time we learned that the cold Mars we know of today was a lot warmer millions of years ago, just like the Earth. NASA astronomers surely liked how the Sojourner exceeded their expectations. That was why they sent not one, but two rovers in 2003, with the Spirit and Opportunity rovers. These twin rovers landed on Mars in 2004. The twins embarked on separate journeys on Mars, with the Spirit landing in the Gusev crater and Opportunity touching down on the equatorial plain called Meridiani Planum. These rovers were originally planned for a normal 90-day mission, but both of them, once again, exceeded everyone's expectations. The Spirit rover? It lasted for almost six years before it ceased transmitting back to Earth. The Opportunity rover was more legendary, though, lasting almost 15 years after astronomers thought that a dust storm had damaged and killed the rover. And within all those years, the twins continuously transmitted much-needed information about Mars, including the composition of its soil and its true identity. But right after NASA lost Spirit and Opportunity, another rover landed on Mars, and you probably know this one, the Curiosity rover. 
Hailed as the largest and most capable rover ever sent to Mars, Curiosity landed on the Gale Crater on Mars in August 2012. Curiosity had some really ambitious research goals on Mars, investigating its climate, geology, and soil composition. Curiosity was meant to last just two years, but at the point of making this video, Curiosity has been rolling continuously for 11 years. Curiosity is a tough machine. I'll say to you that after 11 years in space, its wheels have been all teared, holed, and cracked up. Its drill has also been pushed almost to the point of breaking, and yet, Curiosity is still up and running, sending important data to our scientists. These four rovers are vital for our progress on Mars. They pave the way for us to understand what is really happening on its surface, and these four surely pave the way for the latest and most advanced rover to ever touch Mars. Buckle up, space cadets, because Perseverance is here to blow your mind. Like a true overachiever, this rover did not disappoint. We're talking discovering water, maybe even microbial life on Mars. That's right, you heard correctly. This little robot has been sending back jaw-dropping discoveries from the Red Planet, and we're gonna give you the scoop on all the latest findings. So sit tight and prepare to be starstruck as we reveal the incredible discoveries made by Perseverance. Get ready to blast off on a wild ride through space, because we're talking about the fifth rover to ever explore Mars. Meet Perseverance, the little robot that could. It landed on a crater named Jezero, suspected to be an ancient lake and river delta. We're talking potential signs of water and ancient life, people! And let's face it, if we're going to find aliens, it might as well be on Mars. The mission launched amidst a global pandemic on July 30th, 2020. And after a seven-month journey through space, it finally touched down on February 18th, 2021. But this is no ordinary mission, folks. This $2.7 billion project is on a mission to find microbial fossils and carbon-containing molecules that could give us clues about how life formed on Earth. So let's see what Perseverance has in store for us. The rover has made a significant leap on its mission as it discovered rocks that confirm the existence of water on the planet. It may just be a matter of time before we find life on Mars. Get this, folks. Astronomers were expecting sedimentary rocks on the surface of Mars, but they were greeted by igneous rocks instead. And what does that mean, you ask? Well, it means volcanic action is happening on the red planet's surface. This is not your average lava lamp. These igneous rocks are like a little time machine that records all the geological history of the planet. And what did our trusty Perseverance do? It collected rock samples from the crater, drilled a few centimeters into the rocks, and extracted core samples. And guess what it found? Carbonates! These rock samples were formed after the rocks reacted with carbon dioxide-rich water. But wait, there's more. Some Martian rocks had salt deposits, including sulfates, and perchlorates giving us a hint at the interaction between rocks and water. And let's not forget about the rocks with an exfoliation texture, which scientists expect is due to water as well. Talk about a breakdown process. We've barely scratched the surface of what Mars has to offer. It's incredible to think that we've only explored 1% of this planet, leaving 99% left to be discovered. Who knows what other secrets Mars is hiding?